Caller's Bane originally named Scrolls, is a strategy digital collectible card game developed by Mojang, which aims to combine elements from trading card games and traditional board games. Scrolls was originally conceived and developed by Jakob Porser, who along with Mojang founder Marcus Pearson, intended to create a type of game that was currently missing from the market. The game is developed using the Unity game engine, allowing it to run on multiple gaming platforms. Scrolls was announced on 2 March 2011, as Mojang's second game. While Mojang had claimed that they stopped development of the game in June 2015, the company revealed that they had still been working on the project, and in June 2018, released the game under its new title Caller's Bane for free. Gameplay The game revolves around the use of cards, or scrolls, to work toward destroying three of the opposing player's five idols, which are static objects on either end of the battlefield. There are four different types of scrolls in scrolls, creatures, structures, spells and enchantments. Creatures are played on the board and can attack to destroy enemy creatures and idols. Structures are also played on the board and, unlike creatures, are immobile. Spells have a wide range of effects, but are often played against creatures or structures. Enchantments are played on creatures and usually provide a lasting effect to that creature. Statistics Each unit creature or structure has three basic statistics associated with it, attack, countdown, and health. Attack specifies how much damage the unit will deal some units do not attack and instead have a quote dash quote for that stat. Countdown specifies how many turns the unit waits before it attacks. Each time it is your turn, all units with some exceptions count down by one. If a unit counts down to zero, then the unit will attack at the end of your turn. When the unit is finished attacking, its countdown will reset to its base countdown, which is typically two but can range from one to six. Health is the amount of cumulative damage a unit can take before it is destroyed. As a basis for comparison, all idols in a standard match start with 10 health. Topic. Turns Once it becomes your turn, you either have 90 seconds to perform your actions in multiplayer or unlimited time in single player. At any time during your turn, you may move creatures to adjacent, empty spots, up to once per creature per turn. Structures cannot be moved without the help of specific spells or enchantments. You may also, once per turn, sacrifice a scroll in your hand. You may either sacrifice it to draw two new scrolls or to gain a resource point see below. It is a good idea to sacrifice your scrolls before playing any. You may play as many scrolls as your resources or hand allow. A turn is finished when the hourglass icon at the bottom left is clicked. You draw one new scroll each turn. Topic. Resources Resource points are used towards playing scrolls. Each scroll has a cost. One to eight resources. There are four different resources in the game. Energy, order, growth, and decay. And one super resource. Wild, which can be used in place of any resource but has limitations on when you can sacrifice for it. Each scroll belongs to a different resource, or faction. For example, the scroll cannon automaton costs 6 energy to play. When you sacrifice a scroll for a resource, your maximum resource goes up. Thus there are two values per resource, current resource and maximum resource. Your current resource is depleted when you play scrolls, but at the beginning of your turn your current resource is filled back up to your maximum resource. Topic. Development Marcus Notch Pearson, the creator of Minecraft and Jakob Porser were inspired to make a new type of game missing from the market, envisioning a game which would include elements from collectible card games and traditional board games. The result would be a strategic game with a strong foundation in tactical game play. In July 2012, Scrolls moved into a closed alpha phase, with a small portion of those who signed up given full access to the game. 
Additional invites were given out as the testing period expanded into an open beta phase. In June 2013, the game entered an open beta stage which allowed public purchase of the title. On the 11th of July 2013, it was announced that Scrolls would implement crafting. With the addition of this feature, three of the same scroll could be crafted into one scroll of a higher tier which had additional visual effects. Scrolls Tier 2 and up would save match statistics, and in a later update Tier 3 scrolls were made to give their owner a small gold boost when drawn in a match. In October 2013, Scrolls announced Judgment Mode, a mode where players draft cards into a new deck from a card pool, then play several games with those cards. After these games, the player gets to keep a number of cards proportionate to how well they did in their matches. On the 10th of December 2014, Mojang announced that Scrolls would be leaving its beta phase to officially release the next day. Scrolls was ported to iOS. However, Apple rejected the submission for release because of the game's account system which required players to register before playing. The iOS version was ultimately cancelled once Mojang announced they would cease active development on the game in June 2015. As game development continued, upcoming features were pushed to a test server before being implemented into the game. This allowed the developers to gather feedback on new features and perform balancing tweaks and bug fixes before they were officially implemented into the game. The test server was accessible via the More Options button in the game launcher. In June 2015, Mojang announced that they would cease developing further content for the game. They also noted that all proceeds from the game will go towards maintaining servers, which they confirmed would continue running until at least the 1st of July 2016. In February 2018, the developers announced that the game servers will shut down on the 13th of February 2018, but they are planning to release the server executable for the community. On 20 June 2018, Mojang revealed they had still been working on the game so that it would support community servers. They released the title under its new name Caller's Bane as a free client configured to work with these community servers. <laughs> Bethesda lawsuit Mojang was involved in a legal disagreement with Bethesda Softworks, who claimed that the use of the name Scrolls would cause confusion with its own The Elder Scrolls series. Mojang won the interim injunction regarding the issue with the name Scrolls, and is allowed to continue using that name for future development. In March 2012, Mojang and Bethesda reached a settlement, in which Mojang would not trademark Scrolls, but Bethesda would not contest the naming of Scrolls, so long as it would not be a competitor against The Elder Scrolls. Reception Upon the release, the game received mixed to positive reviews, scoring 73 out of 100 on the review aggregator site Metacritic, based on 14 reviews. <laughs>